Hello everyone and welcome to my uh, video on uh, how to, uh, like a continuation of my series on how to make uh, bus, uh, or bus battle ideas for the couplings in Mario Maker 2. So I've, uh, I've previously done on Roy and Iggy but I, I have more ideas for them. So I'm gonna be showing you these ideas or like this boss battle in this video. I have two for Roy, two new ones for Roy and three new ones for Iggy. Now these are like gimmicky boss battles. They're, they work around the attributes of the coupling like Roy digs so uh, I kind of made a boss battle around his ability to dig and uh, Iggy has an awkward movement, he doesn't jump, so that's the same thing, I did that for Iggy. So these are not traditional boss, bat traditional boss battles, so please don't expect that in this video. These are gimmick boss battles, they're just for fun, wacky, wa wacky ideas. Uh, so let's get started, or like, let me show you what I got. So the first one is this, with Roy. So you have to be small Mario, mini Mario. So the idea here is Roy is gonna appear either on this side or that side. And depending on where he appears, you have, to, like, you have to change the direction of the conveyor belt with this on and off switch. And you got this kind of ball that's going to shoot uh, uh, spike balls. Okay, I missed. So as you can see... Uh, it's, a, it's a really easy boss battle. Like, uh, it's more of a mini game in my opinion, not a boss battle. But I think it's really fun. I really enjoy this. And he's dead. So like yeah, the, the idea around here is that you have to like use the on off switch to change the direction of the conveyor belt to lure the spike ball to hit the Roy. Now you can you can you can give him wings to make him harder, but for some reason he doesn't he stops appearing when you give him when you give him wings. I'm not sure why. So ne the next one is Oats Roy, the last one, the last Roy idea, the second one. So the idea here is that you come to this room and there are th these two sides. Each uh, th these two pipes are gonna sp spit out. Um, Bob, uh, a spike ball, and uh, you have to like you have to ground pound on the on the seesaw to bounce to like to uh, launch a spike ball on on Roy. Now Roy does not appear on these uh, seesaws. He does not appear here. He can't dig here and he can't appear. If you put Roy here, he's he's not gonna dig. He's not gonna dig. he's gonna he's not gonna dig. He's, he's gonna jump around. He's not gonna dig. So the idea here is that Roy is forced to like appear either here or here. That's it. He cannot come here. So yeah, let's, so let's let's show you off. The, let's show this boss battle off. Okay, we got one hit. Now you can actually use big, uh, big uh, like uh, big spi spiky balls, but they're not fun, honestly, in my opinion. Okay, I put all this other. Uh, okay, now like I said, you can also appear here, so you have to you have to be careful. Okay, you got two heads. Boing. Okay, broke it. Boing. Come on, Roy, appear here, appear here. No. Okay. Oh my God, I almost got him. Come on, we appear here, appear here again. Yes, yes. Okay, he's dead. Thank God. This can be actually quite challenging, honestly. It's kind of annoying, but this is my second. This is my second idea for Roy. Uh, I think it's a good one. I really prefer the first one, even though it's easier. I just like it a lot. <laughs> so the the third and fourth and fifth boss battle are for Iggy. Like three boss. Now I'm gonna show you three ideas for Iggy. I really like them all. So this is the first one. As you can see, Iggy is stopped here. So you have to try to like change the direction of the conveyor belt to get Iggy here, and then he's gonna bounce all the way up here, and then to where to, and then you can actually hit him. So let's let me demonstrate. So first of all, I want to become like Fire Mario, right? So you come up here, and then you have to try to change the direction. Uh, the springs are, are like a, di a distraction. To, to make this actually quite, quite challenging. Alright. Come on, Iggy. Okay, that's the first set. And then... Iggy is gonna go back inside. Boing. He's back. So, let's try this again. Now, if, it would be cool if you like if there were different levels. With each, with each hit, Iggy would go into, the, into a different hole. And then uh, it, it's going to become more challenging. But uh, this is just a, like a demonstration or, or the... 
I'm pretty sure you can make, uh, people can make this more, more challenging or more fun. This can be a quite, a quite annoying. Right, he's done, he's done, he's done. Come out, come out, come out. Okay, so that's my first Iggy idea. So, okay, just to recap. So, uh, the idea here is that you have to hit on and off switch to, uh, like, to lead him to lead him all the way here. Make sure that the conveyor belt reaches this part, and then he bounces up and then comes out here. Put a put a semi solid black form, platform here. Put a one way door here. Put a one way door here as well, as you can see. Also a donut block, so we, so Luigi can't go inside. Put a put a trampoline right here, so Iggy can actually go back inside. If you don't put a trampoline here, he can't go back inside. He can't actually fall into. He has he has to bounce into. He has to bounce back inside. Make sure you put a one way door here, right here, because uh, sometimes Iggy can actually bounce from here and then out here from this trampoline. Out, out, out from this, out from this side. So put a, put a one-way door here so he doesn't bounce from back from here. So yeah, this is my uh, idea, my my, Iggy, my first Iggy idea, boss battle idea. Now the second one is, is a, a car pride. So Iggy has this uh, vehicle that shows that shows homing missiles. Now you can actually put like uh, for example a, a flying spiny. But uh, which is gonna make it more fun, but more challenging. So we can do that. But uh, anyways, so the idea is that uh, you have you've got this build blaster that's that's gonna shoot uh, fireballs of uh, fire flowers. So we have to like uh, kill Iggy with fire flowers with fireballs. So uh, this can be quite challenging, honestly. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm quiet because uh, this like this is actually challenging in my opinion. Okay, we got one, one hit, nice. So uh, if you don't make it in time, you're gonna fall off to your doom. So you have to be quick. Okay, sorry. Now you can make this super easy by not adding any cannons, just munchers. Like instead of instead of having missiles or bullet bills, just add munchers and nothing will happen. Okay, okay, you won't, you won't fall to your doom. Okay, but now it's gonna change the directions. Okay, one more, one more. Okay, is that okay? Now I think you can go inside if you try hard enough, but uh, <laughs> but whatever. Okay, you can also do that. All right. So yeah, this is my idea. You have to basically like kill Iggy with five flowers while he's inside his vehicle, and you can't reach it because of these uh, um, bumpers. You can also do this just to make it make it almost impossible. But uh, that way, you can, uh, the fire, fire flower or the fire ball will have a harder time to go inside, and it's gonna make the boss battle much, much more frustrating. Anyways, this is my second idea. So, just to recap, Iggy has this his vehicle. So I try to put like a, a long platform with two bullet pills or uh, munchers, so so we can't jump inside. I prefer munchers, but I just use bullet pills this time. You can and then put bumpers on top, so Mario doesn't jump inside. Um, you can also put this block if you want to. Anyways, so the idea is that you've got your own vehicle or like your own platforms, and this uh, this this is going to give you a, a, a fire flower just in case if you run out or like you lose yours, and then you have to kill them with fire flowers. Now you can make this more challenging by, by, by uh, well, if he doesn't get the key in time, he's gonna fall to his doom, for example. And you put the door right here, for example, right here. 
So if he doesn't if he doesn't make in time if he doesn't make it in time with the key, he's gonna fall to his doom with Iggy. Both of them both of them are gonna die. So I'm gonna recap everything quickly because I'm gonna leave this level. So this is the first idea. Uh, launch the launch the spike balls on Roy. He's gonna appear on this side or that side. The second one is uh, change the direction depending on where Roy is by using the current rear belt and the spike balls that are coming out of this um, cannon. And the third one is this with Iggy. The first, this is the first Iggy battle. Um, so like I said, just to change the direction and then Iggy comes out and you hit him. If you want uh, an in-depth explanation on how to build these, just tell me in the comments. And then the last one, I already showed it, so... Uh, no, wait, hold on. I want to save this. Save. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <sighs> so, uh... So the last one is right here. So if you want to play this level, I uploaded it. I uploaded it and it's on my world maker as well. It's, my own, it's on my world. Uh, it's, it's called Iggy's Haunted Swamp. So anyways, for the boss battle, uh, go play that level if you don't want spoilers on this boss battle. But I really like this boss battle idea. Anyways, let's come up. Let's come up out, out here. Let's come up here. Okay. Hold on. So the, as you can see, the skull is pointing towards the boss. So this we're gonna fight the boss right now. So this is the, the this is the boss. So as you can see, Iggy already ha uh, also has a vehicle right here, but this time it's surrounded by booze. So you have to be really careful. <laughs> so the idea is right. The idea right here is to get the copper shell, and then try to throw it inside. We got one hit. And there's also munchers. You can actually put build, build, build bills instead of munchers, if you want to. But uh, just put munchers. You can make it more challenging by putting bullet bills that shoot, for example, booze. So uh, Iggy uh, ditched his chain chomp, and now is using booze to uh, fight Mario instead of chain chomps. Okay, we died. So let's try again. I really like this. I really like this boss battle. It's really fun and challenging, honestly. So he, he has his own like uh, boo vehicle, spooky vehicle. <clears throat> so we got the first hit. Now you can hide in this cow, this uh, this uh, corner, but. You have to be careful because uh, there are bulls on the ground, so you, you can't hide forever. Okay. No. Okay, two hits. Oh my god, these bulls are scary as well. Okay, one more, one more. Okay, we killed them, yes. And this is the end of this level. So I really, uh, uh, so let's, I'm just gonna show you this. So he has his vehicle munchers on the sides like I said you can add bullet bills but anyways and then there's this bull right here give him wings and also give the platforms wings to make it faster the bull is gonna fall right here and then come uh, come down to this rail and then he's gonna surround Iggy so let's let's see it right now so as you can see he fell off uh, the bull fell into, uh, into this rail and is now surrounding Iggy so it's uh, I think this is a really cool idea I really like this um, so yeah, there's nothing much to explain. You have to get the Koopa shell and then throw it in the, in, into Iggy's vehicle to hit him. Uh, there are also boos trying to like hit, kill you, hit you. These boos. So yeah, this is my last uh, Koopa, Koopa, uh, coupling idea for this video. Like I showed you three Koopa, uh, Iggy ideas and two Roy. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe and thank you for watching.